to say good morning. East Tampa Village Mayor Rick Lawler and Deputy Mayor Barbara Borsak joining us. Rick, how are you this good morning? Good morning. I'm, I'm great. How are you doing? I'm well. That's thanks, uh, Barbara. You doing good? I'm great. Thank you. Well, we're Beautiful in the, day. In the month of June already. It's kind yes. of hard to believe, right? right? Well, so. you know, we started phase one last Wednesday and... Um, you know, I think it's uh, encouraging, but it's, I think it's uh, starting a little bit slower than we had anticipated. And uh, as a result of that, we're trying to do whatever we can to help, um, you know, lo- our local businesses. And, of course, the two biggest ones, like I said last time, are construction and uh, retail business for us. So we're trying to do what we can to help them. Construction, I think, is uh, off with a, starting off with a bang uh, because it's been pent up for so long. But uh, retailers, I think uh, it's going to be a slow recovery. And uh, Barbara has some information on that that she'll let you know about. Well, uh, Rick and I were, have been meeting with a committee of retailers and over the last three or four weeks, actually, now. Um, there's an, a separate committee that's meeting with restaurateurs and in trying to find ways that we can assist all of them as they try to reopen. And we are relaxing our codes uh, to allow them to do some things that normally wouldn't be allowed, but that's something that we can do for them this year to help them get back on their feet. Um, but everybody has to remember, businesses, that they have to file a New York State safety plan to reopen, and they can go to New York Forward and find those forms that they need to fill out and file for the for their re- reopening. It's a safety plan that everybody has to go through. Um, I did want to talk uh, for a minute, though, about something that's going to happen on Sunday. Uh, two members of the high school class of 2016 have requested a permit for a peaceful protest to stand in honor of George Floyd and to stand in solidarity with members of the black community here and across the country and we're in the process of working that permit for them so Mm -hmm. we anticipate that that will happen at the hook mill on Sunday between 2 and 5 they're looking to create space for conversation and reform which we think is a good thing and so we certainly stand with them in that and and um, we'll have more details on Thursday, probably, okay, when we come. So, yes, that yeah. sounds good. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. And uh, I think that we had uh, a demonstration like this several years ago, and it went off very peacefully, and it was <laughs> I think it was a good thing for the community. So right. we're looking for the same thing to happen uh, this time around. Uh, but just uh, as a, uh, a note to... Uh, village residents about a few things that they should be aware of. I, I like to point them out so that um, people know what's going on. Um, as far as our restaurants, when they begin to open, uh, the subject has come up about uh, off-premise consumption of alcohol and, you know, now with takeout, uh, they're allowed to have it, but it must be in, uh, the sale of it must be in conjunction with the sale of food. And uh, so then there's a, a, a another issue that comes up with would they be allowed to uh, have uh, in effect, off-premise consumption with if they're outside of the restaurant. So uh, that uh, issue was brought to the governor, and he's uh, told us that uh, he will speak to SLA about making some arrangements for that. So we're anticipating that that will happen, so that uh, that won't be an issue when when the time comes. A um, few of the other things, uh, gyms and spas, uh, several of, of which are in the village, have uh, not been designated as to exactly when, what phase they will open up in. So that's a little bit disappointing. So we're looking for some direction on that. Uh, Barbershops and salons will be able to open now in phase two with um, special conditions. It'll be by appointment only. Uh, There'll be, uh, you know, uh, usual wearing of the masks, social distancing where appropriate. In the case of a salon that has uh, multiple employees, they'll be, you know, given that uh, the same test when they come to work of uh, temperature, ask questions about, you know, if they've been exposed or that sort of thing. So people can feel uh, safe, uh, you know, going to use those facilities when when they open. Um, and then far, as far as a uh, few other things, uh, the uh, property tax, which is due June 1st, has been extended for 21 days. We're hoping that maybe it'll be extended a little bit further. Uh, we'll hear more on that. Uh, it could be as, as long as 45 days, but for now it's been extended from June 1st to June 21st without penalty. So you could uh, you have up until June 21st to pay your taxes without penalty. Um, and again, uh, we uh, also were looking at a bike share company that may possibly uh, oh, come into Village this season, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Uh, they've already canceled with some other communities, and we've had no uh, more contact with them since an original contact, which was over a month ago. So um, uh, there's been no application made or anything. So I'm, so I'm assuming that the same will happen here, that it's, it's just not going to be the year for it, I guess. Um, 
And then uh, also DMV, people should know that uh, uh, in phase two coming up, they'll we'll open up some of their services. So you'll be able to do what you've always been able to do, online services. Uh, those have been expanded. And then for those instances where you actually have to give them physical paperwork, they'll, they'll have a drop box available at, at their offices that you can leave paperwork there. So uh, people should know about that. Um, so I think um, all in all, things have been going pretty well for reopening. It's not happening as fast as we would like, but uh, you know, hope, well, hopefully that things will pick up, uh, you know, in the near future. And just as an, an aside to show you how uh, conscientious our community has been about following safety rules, I heard today from uh, uh, somebody that called me that said uh, Stop and Shop in East Hampton did not have one uh, COVID illness to their employees during this whole thing, oh, which I great. think says a lot about our community and Stop and Shop itself is following the safety rules. So that's very encouraging. Uh, well, that's great. And, uh, you know, we've been doing what we're supposed to be doing, uh, Barbara, exactly. and uh, this pays off now. <laughs> I think wearing the masks and keeping your distance from each other is really critical. That's that's how we're going to keep this thing at bay. And if we continue to take care of each other, you know, the community is going to be safe at the end of the day. Yeah, we don't want to sure. see anybody come down with COVID-19. We want to see this thing disappear. Right. If, if you wait on the property taxes to after June 1st, you got to pay them in Riverhead? Is that no, so? They'll have to be in Suffolk County. You right. have to pay them in Riverhead. Yeah, in Suffolk yeah. County. That's the only difference that we yeah. have to go to them. Right. Um, but still, I mean, I Same think that's thing. a big, yeah, yep. uh, that's a big plus, I think, for people yep. that are struggling and, and uh, are not able to make the June 1st deadline. All right. Well, it sounds good. Well, I guess we covered it all. What's going on <laughs> in the uh, village? Mm-hmm. Hard to believe it's June. I, I mean, know. It'll be years gosh. half over already. Yeah. It really We'll is. be happy when this year is over, that's with my sure. think. So. It's been the longest three months, but the shortest three months. Yeah, at the same I hear time. you on that. That's for <laughs> sure. I'll see you on Thursday morning. Right. Thank yes. you so much. Thanks again. Thank you. You're Bye-bye. quite welcome. That's East Hampton Village Mayor uh, Rick Lawler and Deputy Mayor Barbara Borsak.